Hello everybody. In the last video, I talked about how to do linear regression in uh, Orange. And you just ch took a housing data set and did some predictions and checked, you checked your predictions. But that was not a robust way of checking your models. In this one, I'm going to show you how to check your models and test it and score them. So again, let's start with our housing data set. House train. This should be so always select your columns. This is very important. So feature one filtered from last video, if you remember, zero, one, two are our training and target variable is that. Now, also let's do that for our test data set. This parts, I think, I hope you remember from the last video, I'm gonna be quick on these ones because they're not that important. You know already how to do these things, hopefully, by now. And then again, select columns. Again, the same scenario. Now I'm going to connect this to a widget called testing and scoring. Okay. Let's go in here and see uh, what's going on. What is this widget? So we have cross validation, random sampling. What are these things? Now, if you have a huge data set, you can just divide it to 80% training, 20% testing. And that's a very optimistic scenario. But now, Imagine you have a medium sized data set. What you're going to do, you're going to divide it to 10 folds. And each time you go in, you take one fold as your test and the, nine, the rest nine folds for your training. This should happen randomly. And you're going to do it mm, 10 times or more till you cover the whole data set. Okay? Now, if I connect these over here also, it's going to understand this test data set. But make sure you're going to send everything just sometimes it forgets to send i always do this make sure now we want to train so there's no training model here to be shown so what we can do is we're going to connect the training model widget which is in our case near regression here and we see this is the root mean squared error for the linear regression or here we are doing this is multivariate linear regression which we're going to talk more about that you know in this video and let's test it on test data set. We see this is our RMSE, which is 558,481. I'm gonna talk about it in the next video for sure. Don't worry about it if you don't understand. Now let's imagine, okay, I hope you understood what's going on here. Now let's imagine, let me remove this all. Imagine you have a bigger data set. You have much, so many features, taxing, the neighborhood, everything, city, that you cannot use all of them for your innovation because it's gonna, be much very slow okay so there's something called statistical ranking which you're gonna use the co uh, the variables which are actually statistically significant in your feed so or in your regression how can we do that let's choose housing tab from orange itself let's take a look at the data See how does it look? Okay, we see we have a lot of features over here, so don't want all of them. There's something called ranking. Let's go rank it. Good to go. We don't want select data set, we want the whole data to come in here. So we don't want univariate, we want relief FF. And we want the best five ranked. So as you see here, I'm choosing the best five ranks which are statistically significant. And if you don't understand our relief FF, I suggest you to go read about it. And if you still didn't understand, shoot me a comment. I'll try to explain it in a video. Now, so I chose the five columns. Now, let's just do select columns again. Right? This is very important because, okay, this selected thing should go away. We don't need it. So I selected these five columns to be features and this one, the target is medium value of the house, value of the house. Now, let's connect this to test and score, right? It's gonna complain that missing separate test and uh, test date input because we don't have any test date input here. So it's gonna use cross validation. Now let's do a linear regression over here. I'm gonna show you. It's a very cool thing to see. As you see, this is our RMSE with five with our, all our ranked, you know, five of them. Now let's just ignore and say all. Okay, all the features. See what happens. The RMSE went down at, you know, to 4.834 from 5.2. Okay, it was a bit good. Now let's just go 
continue ranking, but this time I'm going to choose first seven, right? Let's see. See, very close. So we don't need to choose all of them, right? We can, this is called feature engineering. You're going to make sure you're choosing the features which are important and you can use them for your, uh, uh, for your model. So in this video, I showed you how to test and score your model. And in the next video, I'm going to show, uh, show you what is the RMSE means and what is overfitting in, a, in your regression. So hope to see you in the next video. Enjoy machine learning.